Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, and I'm here today on behalf of VPN Mentor to talk to you about robots. No, not, not robots. Um, I'm here to talk to you about Android, specifically how to change your IP address on Android phones. It's actually super easy. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, for security reasons, you might want to change up your IP address so, you know, you can't be hacked as easily. You might want to do it to stream content from another country, say if you're traveling in the Netherlands or something, and you want to see your favorite shows from the US while you're away from home, you can do that. All in all, this is going to be a pretty short video. If you find it useful, if you find it helpful, please do like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon so you can get more updates and tutorials from us, and heck, maybe share uh, this tutorial on social media if you think it will help someone else. All right, let's get into the guide real quick now. So here I am mirroring my Android phone to my computer for ease of recording. Now, how do I change my IP address for security and video streaming and all that good stuff? Well, let me show you. What you need is a VPN. A VPN or virtual private network is a system that basically allows you to connect to another server from your computer and route all of your internet traffic, all of it, through that server. And all that uh, traffic is encrypted so that even your own internet service provider or anyone who hacked them can actually see what's going on in that traffic. It helps with uh, protecting your anonymity and generally keeping you safe. Now, ExpressVPN is one of our favorites for a lot of reasons. It's got a super wide server network with um, 90, in 94 different countries which allows you to have a server that's always close by so you can always get fast speeds, which is, you know, very useful. Unless you want to connect halfway around the world, which you can also do. And also, it is very good for video streaming and things like that when you're traveling. Now, I'm just going to sign in real quick because I already have an account. So, as you can see, there are a ton of countries to choose from. If you go to all locations, you can choose from <laughs> several continents. But I'm just going to go to the U.S. Now, I'm in Mexico City, mind you, so I'm going to connect to a cl relatively close server over in Dallas. And there we go. There is my new IP address in the US of A. Let me show you how that looks in the browser real quick. There we go. Firefox is telling me that my IP address is based in Dallas, Texas, and that's all I really wanted. So I'm going to get out of there. Now, one thing you should know about every VPN is that using a VPN will affect your internet speed. It's, it, it will slow it down. That is unavoidable. But with the right network, with a fast network, it doesn't have to be slowed down by much. I normally get 115 megabits of download speed. Right now, connected from Mexico City to Dallas, I'm going to get a bit less than that. Let's see. Right now, it is fluctuating a fair bit. But there we go, that's some... Uh, hmm. There we go, there we go, around 100 megabits per second. That's normally what I expect. Uh, sometimes I go as high as 110, but I normally get at least 100 megabits per second on the ExpressVPN networks. And 8.85 upload speed, given that my total upload speed is 10 megabits per second, that's just fine. But what about streaming? As you can see, I am connected to the VPN, still, still connected to... USA Dallas, but I am accessing Netflix, no problem. Let's throw on Stargate SG-1, one of my favorite shows of all time. Now, it's probably not going to sh work here because they, they do that on purpose, but as you can see, it is streaming just fine. Now, I had to stop that because, you know, copyright stuff. But, as you can see, uh, streaming worked just fine on the VPN on the Wi-Fi and everything. Well, I went just went back and checked the footage and wow, it, it wasn't even on the Wi-Fi. It was all still on the 4G network and uh, the streaming worked just fine over the VPN. As you can see, it's not an issue. You can do all of that stuff just fine. It, you might lose a bit of ping if you're gaming, for example, but otherwise it's great. Uh, ExpressVPN is one of our favorites, like I've said. You should check the links down in the description for the full review of ExpressVPN because they, there we run every test Every, you know, examine every service that, that uh, ExpressVPN can unlock and generally put it through its paces. And you should check out that review to get the full picture of what the service offers. I will go over a couple more of the, its features, though. 
It uh, has its own VPN encryption protocol. Uh, th that is the lightweight protocol. For newbies, protocols are just instructions uh, that two computers use to like determine how they're going to send information to each other. The lightweight protocol is designed for both security and fast streaming and does a pretty good job of both. Uh, ExpressVPN has a kill switch. A kill switch will disconnect all of your internet if the VPN stops working to make sure that none of your data gets leaked. It also has a 30-day money-back guarantee and some very reasonable pricing plans for the amount of features available. Obviously, ExpressVPN isn't just available on Android. It's also available on Windows, iOS, Mac, Linux, uh, a lot of TVs, smart TVs, game consoles, some routers, all that good stuff. And I honestly, it is the one we recommend for most uses. But now you know, now you know how to change your IP address on Android. All right, again, check the links down in the description for the full review of ExpressVPN. And also look down there for our, the link to our coupon page, because we have deals on ExpressVPN and just about every other major VPN out there all the time. If you're going to pay for a year, you know, a, a coupon can save you a fair bit of cash that way. Once again, if you found this video useful and helpful, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for further updates from our channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I enjoyed making it. This is Ezekiel Bruni signing out.